I'm going to be discussing how to ignore a bunch of errors on an Excel file all at one time. So in this example here, I have 10 columns here with uh, two different formulas in them. So the first column here has one formula, the second column here has a different formula, and then the third column goes back to that first formula, and then it follows that pattern. And so what it's done is it's thrown an inconsistent formula error because what it does is it looks to the left and then it looks to the right and it sees that the formula is different in those two columns and so it wants me to look and make sure that I haven't typed something in wrong uh, here and so this is what we intended it for it to be so we want to ignore all of these and so what we're going to do to ignore those is we're going to come up here to the first row where we have uh, the errors and we're going to highlight the entire range of data with the errors in them. So I'm going to do shift control right arrow, shift control down arrow. <clears throat> it's going to highlight all of them there. Then I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to hit the tab button. And so when we did that, we see that this orange triangle over here popped up. And we also see that we have a, a selected on a cell and the cell that it's on has an error. And so what we want to do is we want to hit tab and tab over until we find a cell that has an error. And so you can see right now I just tabbed over and we're no longer on a cell with an error, uh, with an error, and that orange triangle went away. So if we tab over two more times to get to another one with an error, that orange triangle pops back up. Once we get that orange triangle up, we're going to click on this and then we can just hit ignore error and that'll ignore all of them. <clears throat> 